Tinumbo asked Atiku to join APC in nation building. Well, I met Tinumbo, the All Progressive Congress APC chieftain, on Wednesday, October 30th, 2019, urged the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar to join hands with the ruling party in moving the nation more assuredly forward. The statement, which was entitled Presidential Election, Supreme Court affirms will of the people. At Tinumbu also praised President Mohamed Buhari and the APC on a well-deserved legal affirmation of a hard-won electoral victory. The rule of law conclusively affirmed the collective voice of the people by dismissing the petition filed by the People's Democratic Party PDP and their presidential candidate, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. The sun rose high in the Nigeria sky today to shine its light over the entire land. Atiku should now channel the energy and intellect employed, deployed in the electoral and legal processes towards joining APC to move this nation more rapidly and assuredly forward. On February 23rd, the people tendered the foremost expression of their sovereign democratic will by voting for the re-election of President Muhammad Buhari. The decisions on this day will be recorded as important milestones on Nigeria's inseparable march toward perfecting democracy, democracy and the rule of law across our land, he said. The APC national leader commended the Supreme Court for its expeditious and highly competent treatment of this important matter. Of this important matter. Democracy has been affirmed and strengthened. By its ruling, the Supreme Court also affirmed that the rule of law is paramount that the law is to be applied objectively without regard to fear, friend or foe. The law is the law. Nothing is to be added to it and nothing subtracted from it. No one should enjoy undue favor or suffer unjust prejudice from its application. In so doing, it underguided its reputation as the highest court in the law and the ultimate guardian of the rule of law in our nation. Tinumbu said. According to NEN reports, he has taught the virtues of the judiciary for the impartial administration of justice in electoral and other matters, adding that improvements were still needed in some areas. He said that the victory was a result of Buhari, President Buhari's hard work and of the trust the people had in him as a committed leader. With these electoral and legal victories now behind us, the APC must give due honor to the faith the people have reposed in us. They expect us to govern in a very in a way that produces the shared prosperity and enlightened future they deserve. We must commit ourselves fully to this profound and august task. Most importantly, it is fitting to commend the people of Nigeria. You are a law-abiding and good people. You voted in peace and good faith, and you awaited the judicial process in like manner. You expect nothing from government but what it ought to do for you. You are the backbone and best hope of our land. President Buhari and the APC shall work for your benefit and on your behalf in order to realize a common dream of a better nation, Sinumbu said. Very beautiful speech there. Very, very beautiful talk there. The same rhetoric. Of course, they are going to be happy because in the other camp, they are really money and they are not happy and uh, they are really shocked. Uh, like Second who said, and also uh, from articles, the response, they, they are all shocked that they could get this kind of judgment. Why are they, why are they, so why are they shocked? They, need, they don't need to be shocked because they ought to have known at the or to have seen the handwriting from the beginning. So it's not something they have to be shocked about, or maybe it's a normal thing that, you know, when such thing happens, you just have to sing the rhetoric, just like Etinumbu is still singing the rhetoric. It is expected. Of course, you don't expect them to say, oh, we are happy about it. They will not be happy as well. They will have to make one complaint or the other. But in as much before they uh, went to Supreme Court, they, they knew quite all right that this thing is not going to come in their own favor because little or... Just little work that the Supreme, work, uh, Supreme Court is going to do.
compared to what has been done before now. So you could just see that within how many months, it is up to a month, you know, everything, they just sealed everything at the Supreme Court. So coming back to what uh, Tinubu is saying, just like I said, it's still normal rhetorics. You know, what do you expect them to say? They, they are going to praise the Supreme Court to high heavens because it is in their favor. And they will be happy that at last they got what they wanted. But that being said, all of that should be put behind us. Nobody is even expecting, you know, otherwise. They are already there because since they got the INEC and declared them winner, everybody knew quite all right that irrespective of what the article and his team will be doing, nothing will happen because they had already planned everything, you know, just to suit them or to suit themselves. But the issue and what is more pertinent now, because like now, Ahmed Bola Tinubu is coming out. A lot of things have been going on that Nigerians are crying about. He has not said much about all of those things. You know, about the hunger in the land, about the border closure, about the transitions here and there. He has not said anything, but as soon as this issue of a, a victory was declared by Supreme Court to their party, you know, quickly he rushed out and start, starting, you know, telling Nigerians, encouraging them, to be more law abiding, just as the way they have waited patiently for this process of this a uh, uh, back and forth between APC and PDP. He has never come out, he has never even encouraged the people on what to do. People are crying day in, day out, and most especially the border closure around Lagos area. There, he has not said anything, you know. And the unfortunate thing there is that I always use that word because at the end of the day, people always move on with their lives, people always just forget about it you know what people what nigerians majority of nigerians what they are just good at is to continue to bear that is what we are good at because these people they have used all manner of things to demoralize us of course are you going to blame people to say oh we're going to protest we're going to do this and that even before shore came shore case came up the issue of a revolution a lot of people were not really interested much in that because based on what happened before or in the past everybody was like you know there is nothing good that will come out out of this whole thing or nothing good can come out of nigeria but some people are still hoping that things will still be better but as day goes by you will see that you are deceiving yourself that is just the truth we don't even know the way out as we speak as all of us we are you know, living in this country, we don't even know the way out. That is just the fact. You don't even know this is where the solution is going to come from. And that's why a lot of people just tend to, oh, religion, 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 oh, God, 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 God. The things that God needs to do, um, we need to do as ourselves. We've, you know, taken everything to God that God is going to help us. The other day, Fashola was talking about, oh, Nigeria, Nigerians are too religious. Any little thing, they call on God. Why won't they call on God? You guys that are there, that are leaders, you are not doing the right thing. Go to you know, outside other countries, they will tell you that Nigerians go to church, they believe in, you know, they are so religious because their government does not do what they need to do for them. Because virtually when you look at the thing, the reason why people flood into majority of people go to church, go to all these religious houses, because they believe that that's the only way they can survive this whole thing is by miracle and whichever way. And that's why a lot of uh, uh, false prophets, false pastors are coming to deceive them turning the Bible upside down. So because they just believe that that is just the only way that nobody's going to challenge them. So it is their right to believe whatever they want to believe, you know, in that aspect. So that's why you see them early, every little thing. We are used to them, even most of the time, even if you listen to me, because that is where what we are uh, we are being trained to. By default, even if you are not trained to, to, to say that, by default, you just see yourself, oh, God, thank God, any little thing, thank God. Of course, we know the role of God. God has his own role. God is, you know, we believe in God. But the the manner at which we apply most of those things, they, at times they are wrong because our God is a principled God. There are some things that we need to do as humans. He has his own responsibilities. So we don't just expect him to do what we are supposed to do because God has given us that free hand to do whatever we want to do in as much it's going to be good. But most of the things, oh, whether the things that we are supposed to do, oh, it is still God. That's why we are so used to that. Oh, every little thing, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Because ordinarily, things that are supposed to be done, you know, naturally or by your effort as a person, you just say, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Some people don't even want to make any move. 
because they are waiting on God to come and help them. So that is why they've already manipulated us. That's why you see people tending towards the area of religion. Because these guys have not done what they need to do. So they will come and tell you all manner of all manner of things, rhetorics here and there. Oh, we are we are for you, we love you. But up until now, nothing has happened. The poor are getting poorer. They are they are even if there's poorer, if there's anything that is even worse than you know being poor, that is where we are getting to. Why the rich are getting richer, they are still climbing, they are still moving in their riches, in their accumulating, you know accumulation of wealth they are still moving they are still moving so coming back to tell uh, Atiku to join their group of course you will not be surprised Atiku in no time Atiku will tell you the reason why he needs to go and join APC back he was there he was even in PDP but as, as we speak now he's still in PDP but he was in PDP before he moved to APC from APC he went back again to PDP now even as uh, uh, this man is telling him Tinubu is telling him to come and join them you know in building the nation definitely he, he will see it is not it's not out of place that you'll be surprised that this man will not he will join them that is politicians for you nigerian politicians majority of them somebody say well stop saying nigerian uh, politicians because we have politicians in other climes in other countries they don't behave the way our politicians behave okay that being said but even in nigeria too, we still have very 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 tiny number of politicians that are still See, that still know what they really want. They have a integrity. So, but majority of our politicians here, anywhere belay face, they always talk about their personal interests. They are not. They don't care about the interests of the masses. So, don't be surprised that tomorrow Atiku will still go back to APC. That is just the way they are. So, experience has shown it that that is what they, that is what they do. So. If I, Tinubu is telling him to come and join them or whatever, he can still go back and join them. And you will see that his followers will go back, you know, to him. Nobody will be able to ask questions that, what, why are you going there? Why have you cross carpeted for many, many times? You know, at the end of the day, what can you talk about the ideology of the parties you've been going back and forth? If you are in this party today, oh, the party is good. If you are no more in that party, oh, the party is bad. You begin to bring out, bring out their, their errors and all of that. So... Where do we face? We the masses. Where do we turn to? What do we turn to? Like I always believe, there's anybody can be the president, anybody can be the leader, but we need to have somebody who is competent. The leaders can okay, not anybody, not anybody. I withdraw that statement. Any, any, anybody from any, uh, any region, you know, presidency or president can come from any region. In as much as the person is competent, that is what we are talking about. The person needs to be competent and knows what he's doing. The person must be. You know, up to date to the kind of, you know, leader that we need, you know, that is obtainable around the world. A leader that is, you know, that is well represented, a leader that is, that is presentable, a leader that knows what, that is competent all around, that is competent all around, that can be presented, that can match to, uh, match uh, with the, with the other presidents or the other world leaders, pres a, a president that we have, that's a, that's the kind of leader that we really really want. A president that is competent, a president that is not tribalistic, because what is killing on in, in this country is tribalism, is tribalism majorly. And that's why some people tell you, oh, it is a it has to come. Yeah, the presidency must come to the south. It must come to the southeast. It must remain permanently in the west. No, that's not what we are talking about. If you are there, where you are there, let everybody enjoy. Now, the ones that are holding the power, just like we always sing, like a broken record, the ones that is the one that is there now, of what he used is the person to even his own people, which is not supposed to be. It's supposed to be of benefit to every one of us as Nigerians. But reverse is the case. So don't be surprised tomorrow, Atiku will go and join them. And everybody will everybody will still take it as a normal thing. So guys, I would like to hear from you what you think about this whole thing. Please leave your comments below in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye.